this video I'm going to show you a simple route combination I'd like to use to beat my opponent whenever they're using a lot of zone drops, things like 30 yard clouds, maybe double Maybelline on both sides. It's a really good play that's going to really put the user in quite a pickle, put them in a bad situation where you're going to be able to absolutely just torch pretty much anything that the defense can bring to the table. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. One of the things I wanted to point out real quick is we are in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. I'm talking today about the Y off trips pass formation, one of my favorite formations in the game, possibly the best offense in this game. And the cool part about this offense is it's got kind of a mixture of like bunch and trips tied in and spread. So there's a lot of concepts that you can kind of build off of one another. And so if you want to learn my entire U-Trips offense, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon is just $10 a month. It's going to get you unlimited access to every ebook that I've released so far and every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. My uh, ebooks, uh, like I said, I have 11 ebooks. I have seven defensive guides. I know a lot of people are struggling on defense, so if you want to learn on some of my defensive stuff, um, like I said, I've got seven ebooks out on that. We've tried to put a ton of resources in your hands uh, for the defensive side of the ball. And then also, if you want to learn about offense, I've got four offensive guides, including the U Trips. So if you want to learn the rest of this U Trips guide, be sure to join the Patreon. It's $10 a month. You can cancel whenever you would like. And be sure to head on down to the description. You can sign up for that today. Again, super cheap. Just 10 bucks gets you access to everything. So uh, this is actually what we're going to talk about today is kind of a universal setup. You can do this out of pretty much anything. Uh, I personally really like to run this concept out of something like tight end deep out or uh, something with like a stock fade like that. So I'm going to use tight end deep out, but you can do this out of any play. And what we're going to do is we are simply going to block our running back. We're going to post our tight end. We're going to slant our uh, solo receiver. And so what you're going to see is it should look like this. Let me see if I can get the play art to stop looking weird. There you go. So that's what the play art should look like. Just like that right there. Very simple concept. Um, but it's very good, especially against zone drop. So uh, against cover four, what you're going to notice here is this tight end post should basically beat every single defense. Now, if you take a look at the where we're at on the field, I'm at about the 20 yard line. So that's gonna go about 20 yards uh, to the sideline. And the reason that's important is because let's say for example, that you're playing someone that is running 30 yard cloud flats. This concept is going to go underneath those 30 yard cloud flats and allow you to easily just basically manipulate them in their zone drop. As you can see right there, that, that 50 yard line is about where those 30 yard cloud flats are gonna drop to. So this is gonna get basically underneath that. Now the other thing that I like about this is let's say for example, um, that our opponent is saying, you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of, you know, kind of underneath coverage, something like this. And now this is like the cover three stuff. Once you get them into this stuff like this, this flat really does a good job of holding these zones to the outside. And so you could easily just pass lead to the right, as you can see how I can get that slant open. So essentially what the read is, is we're saying, where does the user go? Where does the user go? Does the user go to the right or to the left? Another thing I want to hit on real quick is something I really value about U-Trips. A lot of people like to blitz out of the cover two this year. A lot of people like to send the pinch two out of the uh, two, four, five odd. They like to send the cover two sync style blitz. When you combine this flat route with this outside streak, what you're going to see here is that soft squat's going to leave it. And as you can see, I can easily throw that ball into that window. So it's a great little thing that you can do, especially let's say I'm going to just show you pinch two. The blitz has no chance to come in. You're already blocking the running backs. So you have good protection. And what I like about this is you're going to see here again, just passing that to the right, and you're going to be able to beat that cover two blitz over the top for a pretty significant gain. So you're able to beat the cover two sink, um, which is probably the number one way that most people are going to run their defense. And then the other thing that we're going to show you here is let's say, for example, that they're playing some cover two cloud flat. If they're playing cover two cloud flat, you'll see that this tight end deep out gets an outside release and you can easily throw that over the cloud flat. So the beauty of this, you have a really good cover two beater in that, in that, um, in that, in that uh, flat and deep fade concept. 
And then you also have this little uh, Mabel coverage beater that's really good for cover three and cover four. So I just absolutely wanted to share this play with you guys. It's one of my favorite little con It's very simple, um, but it's really, really, really good. You're going to see how that slant will eventually come open, even if they have yellow zones. The other thing I just want to spend just a couple more seconds with you on this is let's say, for example, they run a Mike Blitz 3 kind of meta Mabel coverage, okay? So like I said, this is a Mabel coverage beater, and you have to watch their user. Does he, most of the time, their user is going to go to that slant, but if he does go to the post, the slant is almost always going to be open. You just have to read it, and then what you're going to see here, so let's say they're cover 3 uh, Mabel, right? One thing you're going to see here is the cloud flats are going to drop right about to where they need to, right? Because because we're in practice mode and they're not zone drop. Most of the time, people are going to put their zone drops on there. So if they don't do that, then you can run plays like Y option wheel, uh, for example. And I'll just show this real quick. Um, I'm just going to show a cloud flat coverage on the outside, kind of what I just showed you um, that we were able to, that we were basically got picked on. Um, now I'm going to show you what you can also do off of that. So you could do something like this Y option wheel play, which is basically the same uh, same concept. But what you're going to see here is now your post is going to go significantly deeper than that tight end post, and you see how there's no defender over there, and you can throw that over, you can throw that deep. So what that's going to cause them to do is they're going to say, you know what, we're going to put our thirty, our cloud flats on thirty because we want to stop stuff like that, and then that's where this concept that I'm teaching you right now is going to really become valuable because you're going to be able to uh, pretty much very easily beat that with that throw right there. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the U-Trips offense, be sure to join my Patreon. My Patreon is $10 a month and it's going to get you unlimited access to every ebook that I've released so far, which is 11 at this point. And I'm going to be releasing more ebooks in the coming weeks. So be sure to sign up for that. I think I'm launching a new guide this weekend. And I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. It's an off meta guide. I don't think anyone that I know is running this, especially no pro player. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So that being said, guys, be sure to join that Patreon. Again, 10 bucks a month gets you access to everything. There's a link in the description below. So just click that link, head over to the Patreon, and uh, start checking out those ebooks. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys over there.